Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make a DIY mask. And I have two kinds today. The first one is this reversible mask. So I have my teal and mint green here, my favorite colors. And then the second one is um, this one and with a filter slit on the back. So you can put the filter and you can just take it out when you wash it. So both are reusable, washable, and it's made of 100% cotton and then with the flannel on the inside. And so for your materials, first one is we should have 100% cotton. Make sure it's all pre-washed. And then we have a flannel. This will serve as a filter for our mask. And then we have our filter. If you want bigger, that's fine. And then a pipe cleaner. And this will serve as the wire for our nose bridge. And then the ruler. We have a pair of scissors. Elastic. So the best elastic to use actually is a smaller one, probably an eighth of an inch, and a pen. And then you have to lay your flannel first, and then your front fabric. So actually, for this one, since this is reversible, it doesn't really matter which one goes first. But if you're particular, then this goes to the front, and then this one is um, to the back. And then take your pipe cleaner or any soft wire that you have and then put it on top of our fabric and then secure it with pin and measure our elastic so our elastic is seven inches and you have to cut two of those now let's attach the elastic to our fabric so put it on the second uh, fabric just probably like half an inch from the edge and secure it with pins and do the same thing on the other side And then we're going to stitch the sides of this mask. Make sure to leave a space here so we can um, open it. So we're going to stitch now. Don't forget your back stitch every time you start the process. Now we are on the last side of our mask, so make sure to leave a space there so we can open the mask right side out. And here we're going to cut the edges so when we flip it over it won't be as thick. So now we are going to flip it over right side out. So just do it carefully. Try to reach the other elastic so it'll be easier. And then do it carefully and get your pen or any sharp material. Not as sharp though, so it won't create a hole. So anything pointy to make your edges look nice. So now that everything looks good, just make sure to straighten the wire and then lay it flat. Make sure the edges are correct. And if you have a flat iron, you can do so. And then we can start creating our plates. So secure the pins on each side. Um, I would do probably one centimeter plates or you can do two. Just whatever looks good for you. And then I would do two folds and secure with pins. 
So this is not as thick because this is just three layers, but the other one is four layers and which makes it harder, but it's doable. So just making it sure that everything is straight. There you go. And we're ready to stitch all the sides. Okay, let's take our sewing machine over and let's stitch it. Alright, so we're almost done. Let's just take it out and there you have it. So for the second one, you will have two similar cut-in fabric and then one different color, like which is the front of your mask and your flannel and then your filter. The same thing, you will have your wire. And if you don't have a pipe cleaner, you can use the wire that tire, ties your wires. And then same thing, you have seven inches of the elastic and then pair of scissors and then we can start so same thing the cloth here is six inches by nine so we're gonna start with our two white cloth whatever color you want i know the line is not i mean they're not of equal size but we can cut it later and then what you're gonna do is fold them into half lengthwise and then you're gonna measure the side so since this is nine inches I would do from six to nine on the right side and then the other one is from one to three so leaving from three to six as our slit so we're gonna stitch that and let's go ahead and take our sewing machine and don't forget to do a back stitch and stop right there and back stitch again and leave a little space and then back stitch front and back stitch and then all the way and then do your back stitch again okay and then let's cut it cut all the frets make it look nice and neat and then you are going to fold the front the first one and the last one. so fold it that way then you can have your slit and then put your flannel and then your front fabric and then your back fabric with the slit so it will have the same process if you want to use the um, wire tie then you can do it but for me I'm going to use my pipe cleaner secure with a pin And so it's going to be the same process as the last one so we're just going to stitch this and then it will be totally the same process so I'll just show everything to you and then let's look at the final product
So it's done. So here's our finished product. So the first one is the reversible one. It's three layers without the slit. And let's try it on. Okay. Alright. And it's reversible. You can use the other one too. And so the other one has a slit on the back where you can put the filter. Alright, there you go 